As per discussion belongs to previous lecture in which we studied Ohm's law for external circuit, Ohm's law for complete circuit, laws of series combination of resistors, laws of parallel combination of resistors. We can solve a simple electrical circuits or electrical network. But if there are complex electrical circuit or complex electrical network, then these problems cannot be solved by using this basic concept. And that's why there is a need of certain advanced concept. So now in 12th standard, in this topic, in first article, we are going to discuss two important laws given by scientist Kirchhoff. Out of that, the first law is nothing but Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law, which is also called as a junction law. Why it is called as a junction law? Reason is that it is applicable to any one junction in an electrical or electronic circuit. No point arrive. What do you mean by junction? Junction always stands for point of meeting. What do you mean by point of meeting? Such a point where number of wires are connected together. You just imagine these are two wires, this is a third wire, this is fourth wire and this is a fifth wire. Suppose PB electrical junction under consideration where these five wires are connected together. Suppose now these wires carry different currents. This first wire carries electric current I1 which is coming towards that junction. Suppose now this second wire it carries electric current I2 which is also coming towards junction. Suppose now this third wire carries certain current I3 which is going away from this junction. Suppose fourth wire carries current I4 and similarly fifth wire carries current I5 and respectively they are going away from the junction. So this Kirchhoff's current law, it gives us idea about current distribution at any one point in an electrical circuit or any one junction in an electrical circuit. Hence name is given as a Kirchhoff's current law or also called as a junction law. Now first of all we will consider statement. So statement part is very very simple. Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of electric current at any junction is always equal to zero. That is sigma i is always equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the currents at any junction is always equal to zero. Suppose P be a junction under consideration, then we can say that summation means algebraic summation of all the current at that junction is always equal to zero. As in this junction, there are certain currents which are approaching towards junction and some currents are going away from the junction. There is a need of sign convention. So what is sign convention to be adopted here? So always remember, there are two types of sign convention. Those currents which are coming towards the junction or approaching towards the junction. Approaching towards the junction, they are taken as positive. While those currents which are leaving from the junction or going away from the junction, they are taken as negative. So it's a very simple sign convention. Once again, listen me carefully. Statement part is algebraic sum of all the currents at any junction in an electrical or electronic circuit is always equal to zero. As there are some current approaching towards the junction and some current going away from the junction, there is a need of sign convention. So what is sign convention to be used? Incoming currents means currents approaching towards the junction they are taken as positive while those currents which are going away from the junction such as wire 3, 4 and 5 respectively these currents are taken as negative. So this is about statement and sign convention. Now let us consider explanation. Using this statement we are going to consider explanation for this law. So what is explanation? As per statement, we know that sigma i at that junction is always equal to 0. But if we consider at this junction, sigma i means algebraic sum of all the currents at that junction, then as per sign convention it will be. i1 is coming to a junction, so it is positive. i2 is coming to a junction, so it is also positive. i3 it is going away from the junction, so minus i3. i4 is also minus and similarly minus i5. So this is algebraic sum of all the currents. Now if we apply this law, we can say that I1 plus I2, take minus sign common here in bracket, I3 plus I4 plus I5, this must be equal to 0. What it implies? This is I1 plus I2 
is exactly equal to I3 plus I4 plus I5. So this is very very important deduction. By applying this law, see here. First of all, we have calculated algebraic sum of all the current at that junction uh, using sign convention. I1 and I2 these are the incoming currents or current approaching to a junction. Hence, we have taken positive I1 plus I2. I3, I4 and I5 they are going away from the junction. So as per sign convention, minus I3, minus I4, minus I5. Simply by taking negative sign common, we got I1 plus I2 minus in bracket. I3 plus I4 plus I5. Simply by taking entire term on right side, we got here I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4 plus I5. So what is conclusion from this last equation? This is indirectly sum of incoming current and this is sum of outgoing current. So Kirchhoff's current law or junction law can also be stated as can also be stated as yes. What will be statement? Sum of incoming current is exactly equal to sum of outgoing current. Means sigma i incoming is exactly equal to sigma i outgoing. So this is very very important. Sum of incoming current is always equal to sum of outgoing current. Actually, this law is stated on the basis of law of conservation of charge. What is law of conservation of charge? Charge can neither be created nor be destroyed. Total charge in a given circuit always remains constant. Whatever charge is coming to a junction, same charge is going away from the junction. Simply at that junction, there is no deposition of charge. See here, whatever charge will be carried at this junction, same charge is going away from the junction. There is no deposition, no creation, no destruction at this junction. This is called as law of conservation of charge. And on the basis of this law, this current law or junction law is stated. Now you can say that this is very simple statement. First statement which we discussed that is algebraic sum of all the current at any junction is always zero. Otherwise we can also say that sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. To apply Kirchhoff's current law, sign convention to be used. Yes, incoming currents are taken as positive while outgoing currents are taken as negative. Is it clear to all of you? By means of explanation, we got this second statement. So, sigma incoming is equal to sigma outgoing. Is it clear to everybody? Now, application part we are going to discuss while solving numericals. So, this is about the first law given by scientist Kirchhoff. Now, in Kirchhoff's second law, which is also called as a whole test law. Okay, thank you.